Greetings, Gooshlings. Goosh and Prime here with my live reaction of Baruto, Chapter 14. I don't think it actually... Yeah, teamwork. There it is. Okay. Colored spread on this one. Shoujo G has green hair, apparently. I wouldn't have expected that. Fan art. Fan art. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> The Hokage son, Uzumaki and Baruto. Your bodyguard mission should already be over. What are you doing here? Okay, cut ten toe free. What are you doing here? What business do you have with my friend? You pig failure of a ninja. Okay, that's a new kind of insult. Uh, oh. Oh, he wanted a cigar. I was wondering what he was waving at. He's one of those kinds of guys. So that's like how the how like a villain will eat an apple. Cinema Sins reference. And to make them look more like an asshole. His is smoke a cigar. Kill him. Hide Tinto. Where the hell is he going to hide in this spacious room? Otherwise, you'll get tangled up in this fight. Baruto, hurry up and go. You're not going anywhere. Okay, they're dashing in. Kagebushi no Jutsu. Okay, made two clones. They've kind of launched themselves in the air and punch and kick the two cronies. They exploded. Or dispelled. You little brat. Okay, we got the bald crony coming in with I don't, some kind of a short sword. I, I'm not completely familiar with all the weaponry. Uh, Baruto blocks with a kunai and then gives him a swift kick to the face. Alright, dashing in. One crony left. Damn it. He punches, but Baruto dodges and then gives him a good punch to the gut. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, now he's gone Santa Claus on us. He just needs the beard. He took out four of them in the blink of an eye. Bruto's incredible. Not one of those guys have put up any fight. Is your philosophy to recruit only weaklings and wimps, Mr. Bossman? Coo coo coo. Is that just a Japanese evil laugh thing? Because I swear more characters make that sound than anything. Uh, we've got, uh, you've got some real guts to you. As expected of the Hokage's kid. Yes, not bad at all. Yeah, he's licking his lips. He's, uh. Look out, Burrito. If he catches you, you'll be eaten. Oh, I guess that might make, that brings a little more context to why he licked his lips. I'll be eaten. Okay. And while he was distracted, he nearly got punched in the head. But he dodged it. That was close. Compared to his body size, he's freaking fast as hell. Oh, and he he's behind you now in midair. It's kind of harder to dodge. What? Oh, he grabbed you. Oh, God. The fact that he can basically unhinge his jaw like that. And as for you, you're just too slow. Yep. Headbutt. Ugh. Or would that be a reverse headbutt? I don't know. Okay, that got him free. What, did he kick him? No, he didn't. I don't think. It's hard to tell. Okay, so they're back on the ground again. The heck is with you? Before I even get into whether you're a ninja or not, are you even human? Humans were originally creatures able to eat anything. I was just bred and raised differently. To be honest, I'd love to eat you roasted whole with salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if the brain dies, then it's useless. 
So I'll have to break your arms and legs so that you'll sit still. Go ahead and try it. I'll break every last one of your teeth. Somehow it would not surprise me if he could just swallow the head whole, even without chewing it. So, would that really deter him, the lack of teeth? Oh, he, he's pulling out a uh, shuriken now. Uchiha style shuriken technique. Hmm. Okay. Wait, I heard. He, we saw him do that, didn't we? When he was training with Sasuke. Or did we not? I don't know. Bleh. Oh, he's combining it with, with a lightning style, too. Ooh. Lightning style triple shot. I'm reading the English translations for some of them because we'll be here all day for me trying to pronounce that. Okay, three shuriken. And he blocked it. Oh, with a wind technique. Wind release. Uh, wind counts shield. Okay. Which is weird. Well, no way. Wind is superior to lightning. I forget about that. You'd think it'd be the other way around, but... Mm. He reflected them back. In that case. Oh, Rasengan. Let's see how you deal with this. Rasengan! Well, and he just blocked with his hands. Every fat dude is able to block what seems to be a very dangerous move with their bare hands. And you just... Wait. It's still formed while it's separated from his hand. Is he going to do like what he did uh, in the fight against... What was the guy's name? Uh, can he reflect all jutsus? Well, for one thing, he used an actual technique the first time he did. Kukuku. The Futon Fuha Kujin. There wasn't a translation for that one. Any attack that I'm aware of, it is able to be reflect. Or, it is able to reflect. It is the invincible wind barrier. Oh. So once he activated it, okay. I don't even have to go wasting my time learning hundreds of techniques. My opponent can be, or can bring me all the power I need to defeat them. And if I like them, I just eat them. Oh. Well, I guess that's a quick way to do it. I can reflect, he can reflect any attack he recognizes. My disappearing Rasengan probably won't work either. He's read its trajectory and then just reflect it back at me. If I'm going to do this, I've got to do it without intent or thought. But how do I do that? I'm looking forward to eating you. Eating the Hokage's kid and getting back some of my lively youth wouldn't be so bad at, or bad at all. Okay, smoke bomb. I see a smoke bomb. It's simple, but not a bad idea. Okay, Bruto's behind him. He goes in. You know, he said without thought and intent, and this seems to be a little bit of a, while well, a quick plan, it still had to have been thought out. Because <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> he got kicked in the face. <laughs> As expected. A Kagebushin. Oh, so he did a clone. Alright. I know all about your Kagebushin, Uzumaki Baruto. The fact that you can only make four, which means, including his real self, there are only four left. Kukuku. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, another one rushing up behind him. When release. Okay, and he's using the barrier technique again. That was another clone. He got dispelled. And here comes another. It gets a punch to the chest. It was a clone. Three. He's rushing into the smoke. Uh-oh. 
Did he find the real one? Because he's got him by the throat now. You're the real one, aren't you? Well, he's got a Rasengan in his hand. Oh, that little mark. Because it dispersed, and you can see it now. Damn it. I can't build up my chakra. Wait. What? Where are those shuriken coming from? Surely that's not from Tento, is it? Okay, he's trying to use the wind technique again. Wind count shield. Okay, I'm going to try and actually remember it. Okay, he blocked the sh They're just regular shuriken, so yeah, it has to be Tento that did that. He reflected them at Berudo, and he got hit. Though it doesn't really look like he, he's been impaled or anything. Wait. Oh, that was the clone. Okay. Four. And with that, I've destroyed all your Kagebushin. All that is left is the real you. Cook, cook, cook. No tricks left up your sleeve? Maybe I should just snap your neck. And then take my time eating you while you're immobile. But what if you snap his neck? That potentially could kill him. <laughs> uh, and he said the brain had to be alive. He's kind of contradicting himself now. Unless he's so skilled that he can just, like, emo you know, fully just paralyze you. Which, that's scary. Uh, I better be careful to not accidentally w uh, wind up killing you. Coo -coo -coo. <laughs> Wait, what? So, what? He just let him go. What What the hell's going on now? Oh, okay, this one has to be Tinto that shot that one. What? Impossible. I should have already wiped out all four of his Kagibushin. Does this mean there were there was a fifth one? Oh, there was a fifth one, all right. It just wasn't a clone. All right, dust clears, and there's Tinto. You, I told you, didn't I? Don't underestimate me. Grr, don't get cocky, you little shit. And now, Bruto is at your back with a Rasengan at hand. Tinto, you know something. Or you know something. You, gasp, are more of a ninja than this pig will ever be. Or ever will be. Okay, Rasengan to the back. That's gotta hurt. Mm. I love the distorting effects of where, where the twist kind of comes into play. Okay, and part of the building got destroyed with that. Yeah. I sometimes forget about that because so many fights are outside where that's not going to happen as much. Okay. So is he dead? Because his eyes are open. Hmm. Bet you weren't aware of that, were you? Our teamwork. Tinto shows the value of a trump card. The Mujina boss... Uh... Show Jojo. <laughs> so G Joe. So that's the type of. Has been completely defeated. What is the secret that. And now it's still Show Jojo. We'll take. Or we'll tell. Find out next time in issue 38. Okay. Bruto Nar or Naruto Next Generations Chapter 14 End. Okay. Wasn't bad. This is action packed. That's always enjoyable with these series. Uh, a lot of fan art. Anyway, hmm. Overall, I'd I'd give it a, at least a three point five. You know, the fight was solid. I thought it was interesting. With the whole, it was like, why would he contradict himself with the? Like, I'll snap your neck, but it would kill, I mean, potentially. But he did mention that it's like, I best be careful or else I'll kill you. So that, 
I guess, kind of brings it out of the contradictory bounds a little bit. But overall, it was a solid chapter. 3.5. Uh, nothing super spectacular. I mean, we didn't see anything particularly new except, well, I guess the whole lightning shuriken thing. That, that was interesting, but we've seen that kind of stuff before in this series. I don't know. But... <clears throat> Brutus is showing a good talent. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Keisha links, roll out.